Hi, and welcome to It Figures. Tonight, I am going to be taking a look at the USS Enterprise. Now, this is the Enterprise from the new Star Trek film. And I actually just picked this up at Walmart in their discount aisle. And it cost me... Let me read that. It cost me $14. So, the problem with this is the box was very dented when I bought it. And it was actually taped up on the sides here. So it's making me wonder if there's everything is in this box that is supposed to be. But we will soon find out when we open it up. But you can see the box is really well made. Um, the picture of the Enterprise here on the back. Apparently it lights up and plays different sounds. And it comes with a stand. So... I do have two other Enterprise ships, one from the next generation and one from the actual movie. And these are highly detailed Enterprise ships. The only thing that kind of worries me about looking on the outside of the box on this is it's as not as detailed as the other ships they have come out with. So, but I guess we will soon find out. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see if everything's inside. It's supposed to be. So far so good, it looks like. One thing I was kind of worrying about was if the stand was in there, but the stand is in here, nicely secured. But it seems like an awful big box just for this. It's not really well packaged either. It's just a plastic thing on the bottom, nothing on top. So maybe it is missing something. I don't know yet. Um, let's go ahead and take it out and look at it in more detail now. It's basically being held in by a bunch of twisty ties, as you can see on the bottom. Alright, so here is the Enterprise out of the box. Okay, so let's look at the stand first. It's actually a lot better than the other stands that came with the previous Enterprises because it's much more solid and stable than the other ones. Because the other ones, if you have gotten them, it only came with one of these. And it was really easy to break it because it's so thin. But this one, they improved it because it comes with two, which makes it a lot harder to break off the Enterprise on top of it. So it holds it much better. Plus, you can see the transparent blue is really nice. And they got the symbol here, which is silver. And they just, I mean, it, it, the stand is, looks just absolutely fantastic on this. So it's a really, really nice stand for the Enterprise. The stand also has a ball pointed into it, so you can pretty much rotate the Enterprise any direction you want to. Um, so, again, it's really nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the ship itself. Uh, Detail-wise, it's not really that great, but it also isn't really too bad either. So if you're looking for extreme detail, this really is not the Enterprise for you. However, if you're looking just to have, you know, the Enterprise from the new movie, you know, you'll be more than happy with this one. Let's take a look at the saucer section first. As you can see, the numbers are actually painted into the ship itself. They're not like decals or anything. They actually are painted on to the surface. Um, and the panels are deep grooves in here. They're not you know, painted on lines either, which is kind of nice. And you can see the phaser banks here and on the sides where they're supposed to be. And of course, you got the, this basically this is a button that we'll get to later. And it does light up blue. And there's a little bit of detail here on the back. Like I said, not a ton of detail, but there's just enough to make it look really nice. 
on the side of the saucer you can see they get a couple windows uh, they're just painted on like the numbers on the front there's some there there's a couple around the sides too the back of the ship here is actually pretty well done and again you have the NCC 1701 stenciled on it's no decal and yeah, these are pretty well detailed the backs here are light up and as you can see they're clear blue and both of them are the same so here's more detail for the body itself as you can see the dish here is transparent blue it's pretty good detail on it and more detail on the sides here with the striping and these windows are actually in the plastic they're not painted on as well as these up here they're also actually in the plastic not painted so the body itself is pretty good and you can see the more detailing back here uh, this is the docking bay where the shuttles go in okay so for batteries it actually takes three AAA batteries and as you can see right here this comes apart with a Phillips screwdriver and this little section here comes off and you put the two batteries in here and the third one actually goes on the underside of the saucer here which again you, you can take this little section off right here and the other one goes in there and there is an off and on switch on the bottom if you prefer to keep it off or on so alright so now we'll take a look or a listen to the sounds that the Enterprise makes alright so I'm going to try to make it as dark as I can in here uh, basically the way you activate all the sounds is by pushing the top button here and you'll see everything that lights up and you'll hear the sounds that it makes maneuvering thrusters Mr. Sith Captain, engineering reports ready for launch. <laughs> Maneuvering thrusters, Mr. Sith. Arm phases fire everything we've got. <laughs> So let's bring up the figo meter and see how the Enterprise stacks up. For this being the mass market ship that it was, unlike the Diamond Select, which it was kind of really hard to find, they did a really good job on this Enterprise. I'm actually pretty impressed by it. Though the detail isn't that spectacular but it's actually better than what I expected it to be and the stand is really really nice it's, it's a great stand for the ship it's like I said very sturdy and probably be really hard to break that so overall I would have to give the Enterprise a 4 out of 5 if it had a little bit more detail and maybe a few more sayings in it, it would have been a perfect score. But, you know, it's still a really cool ship. And anyone who loves the Enterprise from the new film, absolutely go pick this up. You won't be disappointed. So that's been It Figures, and I will see you next time.